Let's see how can we mimic the behavior of switch control structure of C or C++ or any other language in which you have seen switch control structure. How can we mimic that behavior in Python? This is our uh, last topic of today's lecture. This is actually an application of dictionary along with many of its other applications. Let's see how will we do that. So for that, uh, what we can do is we can define a function and I have named my function as switch demo and this is some uh, argument of my function, right? So this is some argument and you know that we always put a colon uh, here and this is the syntax of the function. All right, now inside my function, I have made a dictionary and the name of my dictionary is switcher, right? So this is my dictionary and I, I have actually arranged it in a very neat and fair manner. This is just a dictionary. You can see the curly braces starting here and ending here. And these are the keys of the dictionary. These are the keys, these are the values. So these are actually key value pairs. So one is uh, one, the key one is corresponding to the value January and so on, right? Okay, now uh, we have a function uh, in the dictionary, which is uh, called as get. So we can write the name of the dictionary, which is switcher in this case switcher dot get and then this function takes two arguments the first argument is actually a key right this, this argument is actually a key and what this function does is it takes this key and then it search search that key inside this dictionary right so it will take this key and it will search it inside this dictionary so this is the dictionary switcher so it will Take that argument and search whether that key is existing in this dictionary or not. So if it is existing, it will return the corresponding value to that key, whatever that key is. And if that key is not found here inside, if it is not found, it will return this string instead. So if you have grasped this concept, let's see how can we use this concept for a switch. Let's see that. Let's understand how to use a dictionary to make a, con a switch control structure through an example. So this is uh, another dictionary. I have made a dictionary with the name switcher and I have uh, written four keys in it with four values. So one is corresponding to addition, two for subtraction, three for multiplication and four for division. This is my dictionary. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking a variable choice which is equals to one right now. You can you should actually take this choice variable from user. I have just taken it uh, as a simple variable. Ignore the rest of the uh, statements for a second and let's look at this piece of code. So I have written five functions here and inside each function I have just written print. You can actually perform addition here yourself. You can add two numbers or whatever. You can do that. So I have written five functions and you can notice that the name of the functions are actually the values in the dictionary, right? So these, these values are corresponding to this function. So addition is this, subtraction is this, and you can see all of these are values. And the fifth function is actually the default case. So I have named this function as default case, right? These are my functions. These are just dummy functions. You can write whatever you want in them. So you can perform addition, subtraction, multiplication here yourself. Now let's see how am I uh, calling them or how am I using uh, it like a switch. So what I'm doing is I'm using that function get, which we just uh, looked at. So switcher, the name of my dictionary, dot get. Then there are two arguments, choice and the default case. So this choice is actually this variable which you will take from user, which is one right now. And default case will come in handy when, let's say this choice is not one. Let's say this is maybe 10. So this 10 is not present in this dictionary. So in that case, this default case string will be returned, right? So if this one is found, which is uh, the case right now, one is present here, it is found, then addition will be returned. And if it is not found, this value will be returned. So whatever the choice is, the corresponding value uh, in this dictionary will be passed. So in our case right now, the choice is one and the value is addition. So addition will be passed to this variable func function. So now it has addition in it. And then we can simply execute the function by writing round brackets here. And you can see how simple and easy is that. You can't do this thing easily in uh, C++ just like this. You can't just write round brackets and call a function uh, with a string. You can't do that. So you can do that in Python. And this is uh, one of the flexibilities of Python. This is something really great.
So this is how you will use uh, a switch in Python through dictionary. And let's see the output of this whole code. So the output is this. So you, you know that our choice was one. So addition was returned and that function was called. So when this addition function was called, perform addition is what is printed inside. So this is what is present inside and that is printed on screen. That was it for today. I hope to see you next week. Bye-bye.